Here we go. Right, can people stop arguing about whether Dignitas is a Danish or British team? The players are Danish, the organisation is based in the United Kingdom. Uh, I used to work for them actually. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyways, team... Uh, why am I saying Team Dignitas? Guys, you're confusing me. It's Virtus Pro, the Katowice Beasts, the Katowice Champions, versus NIP. And I assure you guys I will try my best to uh, ensure I say Pasha and not Bicep. <laughs> so here we go. Bayali is dinked already. And Freiburg is a man to get first blood on this pistol round. So the nades are going to go in. The Katowice Champions. There we go. Headshot from Taz. He's looking for the second. Freiburg will get his second. Putting Taz to sleep. And the third as well. Hat trick from the Swede. Hat trick from the Beast. Hat trick from Freiburg. And now it's Pasha left on 10 HP and Snacks on 100. He's got that silenced USP Guardian. He's trying to catch a glimpse of one of these remaining four terrorists. But that bomb is down on one of them. I believe his Freiburg is up in. Uh, in opposite heaven. So Pasha with the headshot and snacks as well. And surely Virtus Pro aren't going to do this. Pasha has spotted one. And that man who has been spotted is Freiburg. Freiburg drops Pasha. Snacks blowing Freiburg to smithereens. And here we go. It's the leader. It's the NIP leader. He came under so much scrutiny at Katowice. But he's put the Katowice champions down. And Fifth Laren, the XCS source player, the X vitriolic player, steals the pistol round up against the uh, Katowice champions in Virtus Pro. The men from Katowice, the beasts from Poland, the men with the biceps in their side. And the score is 1-0 in favour of the Swedes. So the Swedes, of course, being forced to deco. Snacks has opted to go for the shotgun, which is, you know, something new. We've seen happen quite a lot in CSGO. Taz, with that 5.7, he's dropped fifth Lyron already. And make a fifth Lyron what you will. Um, is he going to have a good game? He uh, obviously didn't have a very good game against Virtus Pro last time round in uh, Poland. So, three versus four. Some of the terrorists have got uh, those AK-47s in hand. Forrest, two-time World CS Player Champion of the Year. And he's so close to the hat-trick. Get right as well. Arguably one of the best CS players in the world is Forrest and Get Right, and my word is Neo in a tough place right now. He's on 5 HP, he's got a P250, and he's up against the two best CS players in history, and Forrest gets the four man. So, of course, I know I keep saying this, but that's what it is. The CTs that went on board shotguns, they spent quite a fair amount in the last round. They are being forced to eco again. And let's remember that CT side is a lot more expensive. Well, not a lot more expensive, but it is more expensive <coughs> than the T side. Unless all your players end up buying uh, Silenced M4s, which is, of course, a cheaper alternative. Get right was expecting that. And Pasha is sent to sleep. And here we go. NIP want to try and take this bomb site. By Ali with a headshot, returning the kill. Exist, making sure his existence is known. And Snacks and Neo are the last poles standing. Get Right coming out. Get Right surely will put his name on a hat trick. And he does that. 3 0 is your score. And it looks good for the ninjas in pajamas. Yeah, people wondering who is no good. Who, who is no good is. It is actually Forrest. Um, it's his no name. Trying to fool us into thinking he's no good, but we all obviously know that he is uh, absolutely phenomenal <laughs> at Counter Strike. It doesn't matter whether it's 1.6 or CSGO. My word, it's as if God created that man just purely to pop heads on this game. Uh, so here we go. For Flyer making his way towards the alley, towards the B bomb site. Just to clarify, I said the alley, not by alley. So Snacks is awaiting eagerly in and around this train area and the bomb we can confirm is near this B bomb site the smokes are being bombarded upon this bomb site Snacks is holding the corner Snacks sees the bomb he's gonna get pushed surely Snacks won't get a second he's gotta reload but he's gonna put that smoke out to save his own bomb and Fifth Laren will plant the bomb and NIP they're two men down but the important thing for them is they have the bomb down Fifth Laren goes down and it's Get Right and Forest once again that magnificent old XSK gaming duo Get Right nailing has. Get right once again, but he does go down, and Neo gets the defuse. 3-1, and that is so important that Virtus Pro managed to win this round, because if he had become 4-0, NIP would have started storing some money in the bank. 
and you do start to wonder, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that train is CT-sided? Do you guys think it's T-sided? Historically, it's always been more of a CT-sided map. Um, but I've heard a few people try and suggest that it's more T-sided now on CSGO. Let me know what you guys think in the chat. And Snacks has gone for the Fama. So Pasha with the AK-47, Neo and Bayali on the Silenced M4. Taz and Snacks, well Taz on the Unsilenced M4 and Snacks with the Famas. Uh, Fifth Laren or Team Fifth Laren, Fifth Laren and Co. All with AK-47. So it's quite interesting, the Virtus Pro setting up with uh, two on B in positions that are ready to rotate over to the larger A bomb site. By Ali, all eyes on mid somewhere. Pasha's like, oh, he's been tagged through the smoke, and he's only on 39 HP. A few more bullets to the chest, and he, my friends, will be dead. He, of course, has exists. Stat track, AK-47 in hand. And still, we're yet to see a casualty. The smokes will go in, the flashes will go in. Here we go. Oh, no, get right. Dealing a bit of damage onto, onto, onto Freiburg. I'm pretty sure that wasn't part of the script. But here we go. Oh, we're going to finally see the first casualty. And that casualty is going to be a Swede. It's Exist. Fifth Lyron and Forrest is also down. Pasha using those biceps of his to carry that heavy AK-47. He knows where Get Right is. And they're going to try and track him down. Come on, Auto Director, play along. And uh, Get Right is all by himself at the moment. So, AK in hand and the Virtus Pro players, all they have to do guys is play it cool, calm and collective. All they have to do is protect the bomb sites. Why are they pushing him? Neo ended up going down but uh, they got the round in the end. Thank God for that. And the score is 3-2 and we see Fiflaren and Forrest and Freiburg all on low cash. Let's take a quick peek at the scoreboard. Get right with seven kills. Freiburg with five and Forrest on four. Exist struggling a little bit with only a kill to his name. As for Virtus Pro, well, they're all on three or four kills. And here we go. Gerani Mo, the train of terrorists, straight into this upper bomb site. And at the moment, it's deathmatch practice for the ninjas. Good shooting from Freiburg. Spots the head of Taz. Taz is no more. Back to the Warner Brothers he goes. And now Snacks is all by himself in connector. He's got that lovely Fire Serpent AK-47 in hand and he's going to try and search for a stunning little headshot here and I think he can do it, you know. If you fly on 24 HP and get right on 23, I see no reason whatsoever as to why Snacks could not potentially pull this clutch off. Obviously, a lot easier said than done. And if Get Right and Fifth Lyron go down, Freiburg's already got the hat trick. No, Snacks is going to save by the looks of things, guys. He's going to run off towards that. Yep, towards that B bomb site. And uh, he just about well may live to fight another day and save this uh, AK 47. Let's have a look at Virtus' finances. They should be able to buy up properly next round. And I'm pretty sure that AK 47 will definitely help out their financial uh, state. So here we go. Oh no, Neo still can't buy, so I think if one of the players drops in that AK, has Neo got the AK in hand? No, someone's dropped him an M4, and I think Snacks is going to keep that AK-47. Um, yeah, he does. So we've got an AWP in the hands of Pasha. Let's go and take a look at him. I normally stick to Water Director, but when someone who's as good as Pasha has his hands on the AWP, you just can't turn down watching him. But unfortunately, they are going towards the B bomb site. Neo rotating already. Exist, we can see him thanks to good old X ray on the top right of your screens. Freiburg, he's been fragging for fun and he's going to get another kill, surely. No! The man with the biceps, Mr. Pasha himself in the flesh, will drop Freiburg. And Fifth Laren is going to head on. No, he's going to drop down Pop Dog. He's dropping down Pop Dog. There was a CT there before, but he seems to have gone now. Oh no, it's still Taz. He is still there. And Get Right is between the Molotov. He's got that Molotov between him and Pasha. Pasha's being heavy tagged. He's on 5 HP. He is going to fall back down. Taz has been flashed. No, he hasn't. Fifth Laren will get the kill nonetheless as Fifth Laren's team want to fight back and get revenge for what happened in Karavica, for what happened on Virtus Pro's home soil in the Intel Extreme. Masters exist finally getting his second kill on the score sheet. And Pasha, he's got an AWP in hand. He's got 5 HP. He's up against Fifth Lyron, Exist and Forrest. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, I won't want to be in his situation right now. Pretty darn sure that he's going to give this a pass and not go for it.
So here we go, they're trying to track him down. Pasha gets a kill, but the problem with that now is that Fifth Laren exists nowhere he is, and of course they know he's on such low HP. They don't want him to keep the AWP. Pasha zooms in, it's Fifth Laren versus Pasha, but the time ran out. And good news for Virtus Pro, good news if you're a Virtus Pro fan, is that Pasha, the almighty man, has that AWP in hand with seven kills, four deaths. In fact, I believe he's the only Virtus Pro player with the positive KDR at the moment. So make of that what you will, guys. But again, it's a team game. And here we go. Can Pasha put the AWP into work? Oh, he missed the shot and Exist will punish him. And that is the thing about NIP. You make one little mistake and you will get punished and Snacks. His position is well known now. He needs to make sure he doesn't show himself. He needs to make sure he hides. But he's got Freiburg awaiting him. Snacks with a headshot. And this just might be an absolutely stunning little deco for Virtus Pro. It's Forrest all alone. We know he's pulled these clutches off before. He's going to come around. But Bayali CZ75, thank you very much. And Virtus Pro showing us why they won in the Intel Extreme Masters around a month ago. They're showing us why they beat NIP in the final. If my memory serves me correct, I think both teams vetoed train. I might be wrong. Let me know in the chat if I am. But uh, we're seeing exactly why Virtus Pro are the champions. You know, they were down and they won a deco round. And those deco rounds up against the weapons are so hard to win. And Virtus Pro finally starting to show their dominance here on the map. By Ali. With a hat trick, I believe. No, two kills from Bayali, two kills from Neo and Taz. Well, he's come all the way back from Looney Tunes, and he's got a kill on the board. 5-4 is your score. And uh, NIP looking shaky. They're going to be forced to eco now. And Virtus Pro will surely put things back at level pegging at 5-5. Five -five. So, NIP opting to not even buy P250s. I think they just want to get this round over and out. They want to get this round over and done with. And they're going to rush straight in towards this B bomb site. They've got a heck of a load of angry Polish people to deal with. And they're going to go upper. So that's interesting. And they are going to push out, of course. The Glot used to be quite overpowered. Not so much anymore. And Neo showing us why it isn't. With first blood onto fifth flyer and snacks as well. Boom, boom, boom from Neo. Easy peasy, Japanesey, lemon squeezy from Virtus Pro. And your score will be 5-5. Five, five. And Virtus Pro showing us exactly what they're made of. Showing us how good of a team they are. Their leader motivating them to pull the comeback off. And here we go. 5 versus 5. And the round score is 5-5. Five, five. Ninjas in pyjamas. Finally, 5 AK-47s in hand. Fifth Larin, the man who came under so much scrutiny after his performance at Katowice. Up against this side as well, I think his score, I can't remember what his score was, but uh, some people dared to label it as embarrassing. I'm pretty sure Fifth Larin doesn't give a damn either. There were rumours as well about Fifth Larin being potentially replaced. But guys, he is still here and he's looking to wreak havoc with the rest of his team. Neo will get that return frag, Taz as well. And three versus four. Where are the CTs hiding? Exist has dropped down from Pop Dog. He's trying to catch potentially one of the CTs to rotate round. Forrest with the headshot. He's going to make it too. And Forrest showing us exactly why he's arguably the best player in the game. But get right as well. He's not too far behind. He evens things out at 1 1. Snacks is going to try and get the ninja defuse. He's holding down that button. Where's Get Right looking? Oh, Snacks. Snacks should have kept hold of it. Get Right jumps down from the sky and. Well, what are they doing? What are they doing? It's an NIP round. 6-5 in favour of NIP. Whew. Dear, oh dear. So, take a look at the scoreboard. Neo, 9 kills. Bayali, 9 kills. Snacks, 9 kills. Taz, 8 kills. And Pasha, 7 kills. So, no one really slacking for Virtus Pro. Freiburg on 10 kills. Get Right on 10 kills. And Forest on 10 kills. But Fifth Larin on 3 kills. And Exist on 3 kills. Make of that what you will. I'm a big fan of Fifth Laren personally, but uh, no doubt that uh, a lot of people in the CSGO scene at the moment aren't. So Bayali is going to push into Connector and he will get rid of Forrest. And when Forrest is down, that pretty much is such a crucial kill for Versus Pro because he is one of NIP's outstanding players. And down goes Freiburg as well. And finally Versus Pro. Are they going to make it even Steven once again? Make it 6 versus 6. And here goes nothing. Pasha with the unsilenced M4. Where are they setting up? Well, we've got 
yep, we've got three on the A bomb site and Snacks and Neo on the B bomb site. And when you consider the fact that Fifth Lauren has a bomb on his back and is pretty much heading towards this B bomb site, you would expect the bomb to go down. But Fifth Lauren is hanging on to a thread. He's only on three HP. And the question has to be asked now where are NIP going to try and go? Or are they going to try and save these AK 47s and get exit frags? They've got plenty of time remaining 35 seconds and counting. Let's see where they opt to go. Fifth Lauren and co. Look like they want to hit this B bomb site, but the thing is they're taking too long. The CTs have pretty much cleared A. Eh? They're rotating now behind, and we see Taz coming to get in on some of the action. And come on, NIP, get a move on. You need to get this bomb down. And Neo has both Get Right and Fifth Lyron in his back pocket. And what can Exist do now? The bomb is down. He's got CTs all around him and there we go Neo doing what we expected it's a hat trick from him and the score is 6-6 six, six. so here we go NIP being forced to deco of course or well, Eco in this case, they're sticking to the Glocks and they're doing exactly what we saw them do last time round. They're going to hit the upper B bomb site. Snacks is there with the AK-47. And uh, as it stands, not looking too good this round for NIP. But then again, many argue it's a CT-sided map. And six rounds for Ninjas in pyjamas so far. I don't think they'll be too down disheartened. NIP, they've got such a strong CT side on train. So even if it does end up being 9-6 in favour of the Polish team, it will, of course, still be all to play for. Fifth Laren buying that Galil, Freiburg buying the Galil as well. And three AKs in the hands of the Swedes. And Snacks is opting to AWP for the Versus Pro side. Normally you see Pasha pick up the AWP. In this case, Snacks has decided to give it a shot. And where are NIP going? They're pretty much all bombarding and storming through the uh, alley area. They're already in and around the back of this A bomb site. Bayali has no idea. He will spot Fifth Laren. Down he goes with a headshot. And at four versus four, anything can happen. This is Counter-Strike. There we go. Two frags apiece. Forrest will come around the corner. Boom headshot onto Neo. And Snacks. We said he picked up that AWP. Unfortunately, if you're a Virtus Pro fan, he hasn't managed to do much with it. He does have, I believe that is Forrest, coming his way. So it's Snacks versus Forrest. And there is the AWP shot. And the bad news is, they know where Snacks is. So he's got to run away if he wants to even hope to save this AWP. Well, not quite sure what he was trying to do there, but NIP looking strong. 7-7 seven, seven is the score. And we will, of course, see for the last round. Both teams will try to spend as much money as they can. Forrest opting to go for the Deagle. Uh, no, for the uh, AK-47, as expected. Surprised me that he had the Deagle in hand. He's also got that all-important C4, the all-important bomb on his back as well. Pasha, we said he normally orps. This time around, he's got the order sniper. Let's go see where he is. He's at Ali. So, hello, hello. NIP players coming towards him. Pasha with the order sniper. He's going to drop one. But one, unfortunately, is not going to be enough. Neo coming around the corner. Down goes Forrest. And get right. The, uh, well... Arguably one of the best CSGO players in the world. Showing us exactly why he holds that title. But one kill, unfortunately, was not enough to win the round for the Swedes. The halftime score is going to be 8-7 in favour of the team from Poland. If we obviously take a look at the uh, both teams' last five games, NIP have been unbeaten in the last five games. They beat Wizards on on train 16-1. So they beat Wizards on train 61. Whilst Virtus Pro, they're not in the best form at the moment. They've lost against both Navi and Team Dignitas earlier on on Dedus 2. Um, but they are in the lead coming into the second half. So let's see whether they can uh, turn it around and maybe. Guarantee all three points then. NIP, we know how strong they are on the CT sided train. But then again, Virtus Pro, they are our Katowice champions. So anything can happen in CSGO. We know how good the Poles are. We know how good the Swedes are. They've arguably got 
Get Right and Forrest, who are considered to be the two best players in the world. So let's see whether they're that quality in the Swedish side. Of course, Manic by Heaton, the XCS 1.6 legend, will shine. Freiburg has been dinked onto 6 HP. And Fifth Laren is all eyes on the upper part of B. Neo's going to stampede straight in. They're going to waste no time off Verdus Pro. They want to get this bomb down already. But where are these CTs hiding? Where are they lurking? Pasha is going to get taken down by Get Right, who does get it right this time round. There's the two man from Get Right. Bayali coming from behind, missing a lot of shots. And well, that's all the poles done and dusted with. And the defuse will come in. And uh, Get Right and Co. have made it 8 8. And now. They won that pistol round, guys. They can afford the submachine guns. They can afford the deagles. They can afford bigger and stronger weapons, whilst Verdus Pro are going to have to either settle with those Glocks and keep it an eco, or buy up those P250s or deagles, make it a deco. Let's see what they'll do. I think, no, they've decided to stick with the Glock, so fair enough to them. I think they just want to get this round over and done with. But NIP have wasted no time whatsoever buying those M4s. For Flaren, opting to go for the P250. Whatever floats his boat, I guess. So, there goes the nade in towards B. And where are Virtus Pro lurking? They're going straight towards this B bomb site as well. Of course, if Freiburg pushes Ali or Exist pushes uh, the connector, they will know that Virtus Pro are nowhere to be found. So, here we go. Neo, Taz. And Snacks getting ready to infiltrate this B bomb site. Fifth Flyer is more than ready for them. And there's a kill from Fifth Flyer and Get Right as well, getting on the score sheet. And well, exactly what we expected is well and truly happening now. Fifth Flyer is going to try and spray through the smoke. Get Right gets it right once again with the headshot onto Pasha. Easy peasy lemon squeezy from NIP. And now you do have to wonder Avertus Pro going to go for the early buy. Well, guys, they've got over $4,000 each so you really would expect them to go for the early buy and that's exactly what they have done we've got five AK-47s armor and a helmet of course for Virtus Pro whilst NIP you know that Fifth Lion has bought that AWP Get Right has got the M4 but Exist still has that slightly weaker FAMAS so uh, I wonder if that'll be a decisive factor going into the round. Bayali is all eyes on oh good shot from Freiburg and he was dominant there on T side and he's dominant protecting it on the, the CT side as well, getting the first shot for the Swedes. But the poles are good. They're the IEM Katowice champions for a reason. Probably train isn't their best map. Probably NIP have been practicing train as well. And at the moment it really well and truly is even Steven as far as the scoreboard is concerned. It's 9-8 in favor of Dignitas if you've just joined us. And Taz is going to try and peak Pop Dog now. Little does he know that he has some CTs lurking around in his area. Fifth Lyron will drop Neo, and it is two versus five. Not anymore is Pasha, last man standing, but not anymore as his face hits the ground. Thanks to Freiburg's M4. 10 8 is the score in favor of the Ninjas in pajamas. And Virtus Pro, of course, they're going to be forced to eco once again. Bayali going for that CZ75. So let's see whether Poland can do the impossible and beat NIP at their own game with only pistols. Let's see how they're going to split up this time. They're pretty much... Yeah, Bayali is going to try and challenge Freiburg here. The bomb going towards the B bomb site, but Get Right is... is in a very advanced position, actually. The Molotov will go down. And Snacks and Co. attempt to regroup here. Where are they going to go? Come on, Virtus. The bomb is B side. We can confirm that. And here we go. They are going to spot one. Snacks is going to drop down and Get Right. We keep saying he's been getting it right in the past few rounds. He's been living up to his name. And is he going to get it right this time round? He spots the head of Neo. And now Neo is headless. Freiburg with the headshot. Down goes by Ali. And domination from NIP. Take nothing away from Virtus Pro, though. Deco round on their behalf. Can't expect them to do much on what is normally considered to be a CT sided map. And when you consider the fact that NIP, they had M4s, they had AWPs. No existence got that AK off one of the dead T's. But now, it's men versus men. Before, it was men versus boys. It was big guns against pistol. Now, this is where we're going to really test Virtus Pro out. Let's see what they can do with those five AK-47s. The flashes and smokes will go out. They're getting lobbed towards Pop Dog and Taz. has been uh, damaged a fair bit. Exist is going to come out. He's trying to look through these smokes. He's trying to peek around the corner. And finally, first blood from Exist goes on to uh, Mr. Taz. 
himself. There's a return frag from Fifth Laren, the NIP leader, of course. Get right is spraying towards Snacks, but he will too go down in NIP. Hello, hello. Fifth Laren is defusing. Virtus Pro have no idea. Fifth Laren is still defusing. And wow, what a round from NIP. I'm not too sure what Virtus Pro were trying to do, but uh, I'm pretty sure NIP. Don't give a damn. Look at the amount of money they have, guys. Freiburg on over $12,000. He's top fragging as well. Eight kills with Get Right on 18, uh, 18 kills, sorry. With Get Right on 18 kills too. And Forrest on 17. So it looks good for NIP. But I keep saying this. You cannot take anything away from Virtus Pro. They are that good of a side. And in a blink of an eye, they can look like they're the losing team and quickly switch things around in their favour. Forrest wants to have this upper bombsite on lockdown. Exist is up in heaven. Two kills from Exist, finally showing us why he exists in this NIP team. His position, of course, has come under scrutiny as well as Fifth Laren in the previous years. And Bayali is all alone. Freiburg can see him on the radar. And surely that's only going to be a consolation kill from Bayali. There we go. 13-8. And I think Virtus Pro... Yep, Virtus Pro, they're yet to even rack up around on the board for the f as terrorists, as simple as that. NIP really showing their dominance on this map. And Virtus Pro need to wake up and smell the bacon. So let's see what they're uh, going to do to try and unlock this NIP defense. Pasha opting for the Galil. And the bomb looks like it's heading towards B. And I think for Flaren and Co. have noticed this. They've changed their setup around. Forrest has gotten closer to Pop Dog. He will pull that P2000 out, but Taz will take him out. And again, when Forrest is down, it's such a loss for NIP. And if Exist goes down as well, which he does to the hands of Snacks, it's going to make things tougher for NIP. But in the blink of an eye, they even things out. Freiburg get, get in uh, two kills. And it's Neo and Snacks with the weight of the world on their shoulders. If uh, NIP managed to make it 14, I don't really see any way back into it for them. I don't see any way back into it for them, for the Poles. And get right with his crisp aim. Headshots from a long distance, no problem for him. 14-8 is your score. And NIP looks strong. So here we go, Virtus Pro still on the CZ 75s. Exist is going to go aggressive. NIP are aware that Virtus Pro will be ecoing or decoing. Exist spots the feet of Taz, and he has the bomb at his exposure as well. He's going to get two. Surely Exist is the three man on the cards. No, not today, but Forrest comes from behind. And three versus two. You know what? Snacks has very intelligently got that bomb down. All the Virtus Pro players are wiped out. NIP have put this game at game point, at match point. But Virtus Pro got the bomb down, which means they'll get more money, of course, coming into this last round. You can argue it'll be the last and final round. Pasha's wasted no time whatsoever buying that AWP. And we got, wow, two AWPs from the, from, from the polls. We got Pasha and Neo, both with the AWP. And Fifth Laren is the only uh, person AWP in for NIP. So is this going to be Virtus Pro's first round? There's terrorists here on DE train because so far they haven't been good enough. But hopefully they will get that all-important first round on the board. And Bayali wants to put a start to that as he drops Freiburg. Exist gets the reverse kill. And it's so important at this stage for both teams to carry on getting those reverse kills. They can't afford to give each other one or two men leads. Bayali once again. Two shots from him. Beautiful shot onto the head of Forrest. And Virtus Pro. Have that man advantage. Made that a two-man advantage. Bayali blowing exists to smithereens. Bayali going for the hat trick. There it is. And, well, he's actually on four kills. I beg your pardon. And he's going to go and try and hunt Mr. Get Right down. Where are you, Get Right? Bayali's coming for you. He's going to lob that Molotov over towards Snacks. And they know where he is. They know where he is, believe me. Bayali's going to try and track him down. He's uh, slowly sneaking towards Get Right. He's getting ever so closer towards him. All eyes on Get right now. They can hear him. Bayali's going to come round the corner. Come on, Bayali. Get the ace. Give us something to scream and shout about. Finally, Virtus Pro just about might get their first T-side round on the board. Bayali's going to come from behind. And there we go. Will he get the kill? Yes, he does. <laughs> 59 is the score. But NIP, because they won so many rounds in a row, they won... Eight rounds in a row, to be exact, as counter-terrorists here on train. Um, 
no worries for them. They got plenty of cash in the bank other than exist. Um, but despite that, his teammates have given him an M4 or has been able to afford one himself. And Virtus Pro finally is starting to rack up the money in the bank. And hopefully they can build on that round. That's, that was the kick up the bum they needed. That was the motivation they needed. That was... That was exactly what the doctor ordered for the Verdus Pro, but it's going to mean absolutely nothing if they don't win this round and, well, the rest remaining, remaining rounds of the game. Because one more round for NIP, and it will be Good Night Vienna for Verdus Pro, and that seems likely at the moment. Four on three is the numerical count at the moment. Freiburg has that order sniper in hand for flying with the AWP as well. NIP opting to go for a two sniper setup. Get right. Is he anticipating right? Not just yet. He will throw that Molotov, which will, of course, slow the Polish team down. And Fifth Lauren has come to back up his teammates as well. So, our third is probably going to have a change of heart. It most certainly doesn't look like it. It looks like they've got their hearts set on this inside B bomb site. Fifth Lauren is zooming in. Fifth Lauren is searching. And down goes Taz. And the score is going to finish 16-9 in favour of NIP.